Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to learn AWS Storage Service. If my video is informative, please like the video and subscribe my channel. So let's start today's session AWS Storage Service. So at first we have to know that the what is the AWS storage service and after that we have to know that uh, what kind of service are there. So one by one I just uh, briefly describe the what kind of service uh, storage service are available in AWS. So first I have to we have to know that what is the difference between traditional storage versus the cloud storage. Firstly uh, with an emerged of the cloud computing the dependency on the traditional physical storage devices has been reduces very fastly now you do not need to however around the hard disks flash drives and looks for the places to store them in a secure manner in traditional storage we stored the data in the local computer or the storage servers connected with the computer using LAN or WAN. On the other hand cloud technology is more reliable, affordable, secure and elastic than the traditional storage. Cloud storage allows you to upload your files, images, videos etc and also to access it from anywhere in the world so this is basically a cloud storage but the traditional storage you don't have the scope to access your data over the uh, uh, over the world via uh, internet so what are the advantages of cloud storage firstly you will not require invest, uh, investing or external storage device you pay how much you can consume the storage in the cloud. You can get access to all your appliances, applications and files from anywhere at any time at any internet enabled devices. Next the storage process is automated and foolproof. Risk of missing out or human errors is not seen in the cloud storage. Cloud relies on multiple servers. Data can be duplicated over two or more servers as a backup to ensure on-demand recovery in case of any data loss. Cloud is a scalable. The space can be scaled both ways. Cloud allows simultaneous working on files by different people of any anywhere they are. Service are much faster since they are all automated. We can also configure the encryption on into the file we can configure the two-way uh, two authentication or a MFA authentication so that the cloud storage can be secure than the traditional storage. So there are several types of AWS storage are available. So first the types of cloud storage there are three types of cloud storage in AWS we can see first is an object storage second one is a file storage third one is a block storage under object storage you can see the Amazon simple service storage or Amazon simple storage service Amazon S3 and you can see also the Amazon Glacier S3 or a AWS Snowball. These all are uh, into the object type storage. Under the file storage there are Amazon Elastic File Systems EFS, Amazon FSx for Windows Server, Amazon FSx 
for luster these three are under file storage under block storage there are amazon elastic block storage evas are available and amazon ec2 instance stores are available so amazon glacier this is the the legacy service you can say because this service was used by amazon a long time ago but now the amazon glaciers is also migrated into the s3 so that's why it is called amazon glacier s3 as well inside the amazon in our free tier we can access or we can configure the amazon s3 amazon snowball we can we have to pay for that eba storage this is a um, uh, 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 this is a free tier eligible service amazon fxa fsx for windows file server and afnas amazon fsx for luster these are the paid service if we uh, want to use that service the billing will automatically start the amazon elastic block storage ebs this is a free tier eligible and amazon ec2 instance this is also a co cost effective service because we have to configure uh, if we want to configure that this is uh, that is a uh, uh, table so now we know one by one all the services briefly first what is object storage in object storage where we can store any kind of data store data if that means uh, we can store uh, in uh, file storage and block storage also we can store any kind of data but basically in object storage we can store any kind of data but stored data trees every stored data treat as an object you can manage your storage in one place and with an easy to use application interface we can get an application interface and we can use that data anywhere in the world the example of an object storage are google drive microsoft one drive and microsoft drop of these all are the third party uh, object level storage and the amazon s3 this is the object level storage this is the example of object level storage in aws first the what is the amazon simple storage service amazon s3 so amazon simple storage service amazon s3 is an object storage service that offer industrial leading scalability data availability security and performance this means customer of all size and industries can use it to store and protect any amount of data for a range of use case such as a data leaks websites mobile applications backup and restore archive enterprise applications iot device and big data analytics and also i can say that this is a very cheap level cheap service all of the service we are amazon uh, web server which we are using amazon s3 are the very cheap Amazon S3 provide easy to use management features so you can organize your data and configure finely tuned access controls to meet your specific business organizational and compliance requirements Amazon S3 designed for 99.9999999999 11 nines of durability and store data for millions of applications for companies all around the world this is a very popular storage service next what is the amazon s3 glacier amazon s3 glacier is a secure durable and extremely low cost amazon s3 storage class and data archiving and long term backup we can use it it for long term backup 
with st glacier customers can store their data cost effectively for months years even decades st glaciers enables customers to offload the administrative burdens of operating and scaling storage to aws so they don't have to worry about the capacity planning hardware provisioning data replications hardware failure detections and recovery or time consuming hardware migrations so we have a note that this service previously used by amazon now it is included into s3 and it is called amazon glacier s3 you can say also this this is then an amazon glacier s3 next aws snowball snowball so what is aws snowball aws snowball is a petabyte scale of data transport solution that uses secure appliances to transfer large amount of data into and out of the aws cloud using a snowball addresses common challenges with large scale data transfers including high network cost long transfer times and security concern so basically snowball is not a cloud service it is an external device you can see a picture in your left hand side that is a snowball dev device which is provided by aws if you want to migrate your physical data center into aws cloud or you can transfer a petabytes of data into the aws cloud so you have to transfer large amounts of data over the wan it is not recommended because you may face huge amount of time to transfer that data as well as you may face data loss so if you request or if you generate a request into aws to do this they will send a device named snowball where you can store your petabytes of data with some aws guided process after that you have to inform aws to collect that device and then the amazon restore all these into their data center with some process and the cost is basically on the device capacity how much data you can store over here as well as the time you can consume that device that all are the measurable thing to billing your aws snowball this is all about the aws snowball next next we have to know that what is file storage file storage is also called file level or a file based storage stores data in a hierarchical structure the data is saved in files and folders data can be accessed using the network file system nfs protocol using unix and linux or the server message block smb protocol for microsoft windows this is are the this is actually the file storage where the data are stored in hierarchical structure in amazon the file level storage the first we can describe the efs so we have to know that amazon elastic file system storage what is amazon elastic file system storage amazon elastic file system storage efs provides a simple serverless set and forget elastic file system for use with aws cloud service and on premises resources it is built to scale on demand to petabytes without disrupting applications growing and shrinking automatically as you add or remove files eliminating the need
to provide and manage capacity to accommodate growth. Basically, EFS is a shared centralized storage. By default, we can connect multiple Linux systems that can be a different availability zone. It is basically a shared storage device where we can connect multiple Linux system by default or we can connect the Windows system as well but by default we can connect the Linux system there are so many Linux system we can connect there are in number of Linux system we can connect that centralized storage and as well as that uh, Linux system may be the same availability zone or the different availability zone here I can we can see a diagram this is my Linux virtual server 1, this is my Linux virtual server 2, there may be Linux virtual server 3, 4, 5, 6 and n number of uh, Linux virtual server which is connected AWS EFS storage. If Linux 1 server can make changes that is stored in this common AWS EFS storage and if Linux virtual server 2 makes any changes that's also automatically stored into this EFS storage. Next what is Amazon FSX for Windows file server? So it is a fully managed file storage for business applications. Amazon FSX for Windows file server provides fully managed highly reliable and scalable file storage that is accessible over industry standard server message block protocol. It is built on Windows Server, delivering a wide range of administrative features such as user quotes, user quotas, end user file restore and Microsoft Active Directory which is a popular directory service, Microsoft Active Directory integrations. It offers single AZ and multi AZ uh, deployment options fully manage backups and encryptions of the data at rest and in transit. Amazon FSX file storage is accessible from Windows, Linux and Mac OS compute instances and devices running on the AWS on-premises. Next what is FSX for Lustre? It is a first and scalable shared storage to power your compute workloads. Amazon FSX for Luster is a fully managed service that provides cost-effective, high-performance, scalable storage for compute workloads. Many workloads such as a machine learning, high-performance compute, video rendering, financial solutions depend on the compute instances accessing the same set of data through high-performance shared storage. Lustre is an uh, open source file system designed for applications that require full storage where you want your storage to keep up your compute. So in the main sense where we can get a more compute, more powerful computations and more powerful storage service then we then uh, scenario we can use the uh, FSX Lustre. This is also a paid service. It is not also al available for free tires. So next, what is block storage? So block storage sometimes refers to as a block level storage is a technology that is used to store data files on storage area network SAN or a cloud based storage environment. The block level storage devices provide a fixed size raw storage capacity each storage volume can treat it as an independent disk drive and controlled by an external server operating system. Block storage breaks up data into a blocks and then stores that those blocks as a separate pieces, each with a unique identifier. The SAN places those blocks of the data whenever it is more efficient. This is actually the block level storage function. So inside the block level storage we have the AWS Elastic Block Storage. So we have to know that what is the AWS Elastic Block Store EBS? 
AWS Elastic Block Store EBS is Amazon block level storage solution used with the EC2 cloud service to store persistent data. This means that the data is kept on the AWS EBS servers even when the EC2 instances are shut down. EBS offers the same high availability and low latency performance within the scaled availability zone allowing users to scale storage capacity at low subscription based pricing model. The data volumes can be dynamically attached, detached and scaled with any EC2 instance just like a physical block storage drive. As a highly dependable cloud service, the EBS offer guarantees of 99.999% of availability. Next is, what is Amazon EC2 instance store? An Amazon EC2 instance store provides a temporary block level storage for your instances. This storage is located on the disk that are physically attached to the host computer. Instance store is ideal for a temporary storage of information that changes uh, frequently such as buffers, caches, sketch, uh, scratch data and other temporary content or of our data that is replicated across the fleet of instances such as a load balanced pool of web servers. So this is all about the uh, AWS storage. It is is described by very briefly we will describe elaborately each and every uh, storage uh, some of storage are not free are eligible that we that storage are only we will describe uh, theoretical part no practical part is available in my next video uh, so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel thank you thank you for watching